Guys, I know it's been three weeks since I've uploaded an episode of Setup Wars. I don't want you guys to think that I'm lazy or I forgot about the show. There's actually a good reason. I took a week off of YouTube to visit Vegas for EDC with a couple of friends. For anyone that's been following me on my personal account on IG, you guys already know that. But for everyone else, now you know. Anyways, I'm back on the grind, so you guys can expect an episode every other Monday like usual. So with that said, welcome to Setup Wars episode 171, the show where I judge setups and also offer advice on how you can improve your setup. If you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video link below. Let the Setup Wars begin. So some of you guys already know that I own a Tesla Model X. I've had it for over a year now and I absolutely love it. It is my favorite car of all time. And I always recommend it to my friends and family every time they ask me about it. Well, check this out. Omaze recently reached out and they asked me if my subscribers would be interested in winning a Tesla Model 3 and $20,000 in cash. I said, who doesn't? That's a pretty sweet deal. So I'm partnering with them to let you know about their awesome giveaway. For those of you that don't know, Omaze raises money and awareness for charities. They have raised over $100 million to over 300 charities so far. It's a really great charity, and even if you don't win, it's for a good cause. If you guys visit omaze.com slash techsource and donate $10, you are entered. The winner will receive a top-of-the-line, fully equipped Tesla Model 3 they're also gonna cover shipping and taxes on the Model 3. On top of that, you will get $20,000 in cash. We're talking the top of the line, fully maxed out Tesla 3, zero to 60 in just 3.2 seconds, and you never have to pay for gas ever again because the Model 3 will get you up to 310 miles on a single charge. To learn more, visit omaze.com slash techsource or click the link below. Kicking off the episode is Abdul from Saudi Arabia and this slightly modded setup that he uses for gaming. The desk borders have been painted in red and some parts of the handles to stay consistent with the black and red color scheme. At first glance, the setup does seem a bit cluttered, but the fact that he mounted his monitor against the wall freed up some extra space. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any extra space on the desk for those collectibles, and also the monitor would be really close to his face. He is using the Element Z88 keyboard with the G502 mouse, which he drilled a hole for, although I don't know why he didn't change the lighting on the keyboard to red to match the rest of the setup. For audio, he's only got a headset which is hanging from the side, and finally his gaming PC which he managed to squeeze on top of his desk. We got a 7700K paired with an EVGA GTX 1080 FTW2 graphics card. So this is his gaming setup, and to the right of that is the media setup, which he uses to watch movies and game on his PS3. I love that Abdul is a man of culture. I see posters for Blade Runner, Better Call Saul, The Goodfellas, John Wick 2, by the way, the third one was awesome, and probably my all-time favorite anime, Death Note, over there in the corner. Great setup and excellent taste in movies and shows. Thank you, Abdul, for entering. Now this next setup takes the word compact to a whole new level. It looks like he built this inside a closet. Definitely not the best setup for someone who has claustrophobia. Andrew is a photographer and he uses this multi setup for video editing, gaming, and graphic design. You know, building a setup like this in a limited space requires a desk that not only provides enough surface area, but also something that doesn't take up all the space. The Pilsen Graphite Corner Desk does just that. Plenty of surface area while giving Andrew just enough space to squeeze in. And because it's a corner desk, he doesn't have to move around as much to reach things. The first setup has a 2017 27-inch iMac with an Apple keyboard and mouse, while the second setup, which I'm guessing is for gaming, has an Asus monitor and the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard with the Naga Trinity mouse and the Firefly mouse pad. It is a glass desk, so obviously he's not going to drill a hole in it for the cables, but he did do a good job managing the rest of the wires underneath the desk. He basically only used zip ties to tie the cables and the power strip to the legs. For the first setup, he's using the Logitech speakers which are tucked behind the iMac, and the second setup uses Logitech G560 speakers. Okay, I get that there isn't any extra space on the desk, but I would recommend moving the Logitech speakers somewhere else. You can always make room on the wall for a shelf and put them on there, which will still give you better sound than hiding them behind the display. I also noticed your Blue Yeti microphone just sitting on the desk, and there is no real place for it. Since you are using a glass desk, it's a bit tricky. You can always use a desk mount like this one from Newer to mount your microphone to, or here's a pretty cool hack that you can use. You can buy one of these tiny wall shelves and install it behind your monitor and hook up your boom arm to it. Not only will this give you more of a reach for the arm, but it'll also look a lot cleaner since it won't sit or clamp to your desk. 
The PC powering the gaming setup is actually Andrew's first ever PC build and it's rocking the 8700K, 32 gigs of RAM and the EVGA GTX 1080. Cable management may seem atrocious, but at least there's RGB. And finally, next to the PC is a 2015 MacBook Pro, which means he has three different setups in this tiny room. This is a great example that you don't need a ton of space to build a setup, as long as you optimize every single space. Thank you, Andrew, for entering. Coming in at number three is Braden with a somewhat minimalistic setup. He's using a single Acer monitor with a Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard and the Logitech G502 Hero mouse. Once again, we got the Logitech G560 speakers and the Sony headphones for audio, and that's pretty much it on the surface, other than his gaming PC. It's decently specced with an 8600K and an RTX 2070. Actually, it's specced pretty nicely. Some obvious recommendations would be a hanger for the headphone instead of just leaving them on the desk like that. I would also pick up a few Velcro straps and tie the cables behind your monitor together so that they aren't visible. And you can even go one step further and tie the keyboard and mouse wire to the monitor base and then wrap those wires behind the monitor with the rest of the cables. Also, a sleeve to hide the cables underneath your setup would look nice if you can't find a Signum rack or something similar to keep the cables from hanging down like that. It's a fairly simple setup, but it does need some cable tweaking to improve. Nonetheless, thank you for entering. At number four, we have Dean, who makes a return on the show with an upgraded setup. Damn, that's clean. He's rocking a 34-inch ultrawide from LG that he mounted against the wall with a channel raceway to hide the cables going down. He also drilled a hole for both the keyboard and mouse pad. Nicely done. I love the dedication to the color scheme. Dean even went ahead and skinned his Focusrite audio interface in black carbon fiber to cover the red accents. For audio, he's got a pair of Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers and the Corsair Void Pro RGB headset which is hanging on his Xbox One S. He does use a 13-inch MacBook Pro for when he is on the go, but the setup is powered by a beautiful custom-built PC inside the O11 Dynamic case from Lee & Lee, which I did a Razer build in if you guys remembered. Super clean job with the custom sleeve cables and extra points for painting the PCI brackets and the SSD trays. You can't get cleaner than this. A very impressive and super clean setup. Thank you once again for showing off your setup. Last but not least is my boy Zach returning back to the show with a revamped setup at his new studio. He is also a winner of the 12th seal of approval which he proudly displays in his studio. He made a little video for us to show off his new setup so let's check it out. So this is a sit and stand setup using the Vivo frame and a tabletop with three monitors mounted on it. And notice how he mounted the 27 inch monitors on the sides in order to make them fit. I also love how he managed the cables. So he drilled a hole in the wall and installed some sort of a belt so that the cables can expand with the desk as he raises or lowers it. Super, super clean. The rest of the wires are perfectly organized underneath the desk with zip ties, 3M tape, and brackets to keep the wires from hanging down. Beautiful work as always. The keyboard and mouse are the same. He's still using the K70 and the Dark Core from Corsair, but with the addition of the Elgato Stream Deck. One of the more unusual changes from his previous setup is the placement of the speakers. So he mounted them sideways against the cabinets, but he positioned them in the direction of where he's sitting. As bizarre as that looks, it's actually practical. And of course, we can't forget the centerpiece, that awesome gaming PC mounted against the wood-themed wallpaper. It's got the same specs as before. We got a 1950X Threadripper, 64 gigs of RAM, and two custom-painted GTX 1080s. So behind his main setup, he has another desk setup where he does his voiceovers and PC builds for his YouTube channel, which you guys should check out, by the way. I'll drop a link below. There's a custom stand behind it that he built to hold his ASUS Zephyrus gaming laptop when not in use. I love how Zach kept everything either black or blue in his studio to stay consistent with his color scheme. 
It's always crazy to see how far your setup has come from the very beginning when you started off with a cramped desk. The evolution of your setup is definitely inspirational. Zach, if I can give you another seal of approval, I would, but it will literally just be the same thing. So instead, I'm just giving you another virtual seal of approval. Congratulations once again, an awesome setup, and thanks again for coming back on the show. Once again, I'm gonna give a huge thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out omaze.com slash techsource if you wanna know how to enter for a chance to win a Tesla Model 3 and $20,000 in cash. And that does it for this episode. As always, make sure you guys comment below on who has the best desk setup. And if you guys like to see more setups or PC build and even sneak peeks on upcoming projects, make sure to follow me on my IG page. I love your beautiful nose hairs. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.